so much now depends and relies on this race from Great Britain as Andy Hodge just winds up the race in lane number five, backed up by Peter Reid and the British crew and Greece have absolutely gone out like a storm in the first 100 and Greece go again pushing on they're up now on about 45 strokes per minute and top of your picture Italy also out quick Italy in one Germany in two New Zealand the world champions just dropped back in lane three Greece in four Great Britain in five and France are in lane number six but the New Zealand crew the world champions will not be phased by the fact that Greece have gone out quicker they've done that earlier on in the year but Gary the, the New Zealand tend not to be that fast in the first uh, in the first 500 meters their big push comes between 500 and 1500 that middle thousand is inexorable it just just wears down the opposition and they just push on through and it comes from almost nowhere they get into a wonderful rhythm and they're well placed here now just doing very well uh, Greece won the European Championships two months ago they were first Italy was second France were third so that all works out well Great Britain didn't go to the European Championships but now the pressure is on these two men to deliver for Great Britain Peter Reid from Leander Club Andy Hodge from Molsey Boat Club and now sitting in lane number five just coming into their rhythm but on the all black strip New Zealand Eric Murray Hamish Bond starting to move so smoothly with efficiency coming through the 500 meters we are 500 meters down with 1500 to go and New Zealand doing what they always do they get easy speed they're going out into the second 500 meters now and we should just see them move on smoothly and relax compare and contrast New Zealand in the black strip just lower on the rating from Andy Hodge and Peter Reid Great Britain closest to us in lane number five Gary yeah, looks as if they're uh, they're lower but actually Great Britain are lower they're at 35 uh, the New Zealand is 36, but it looks lower than the, the, than the British pair. They've got a very easy flow, a very easy rhythm, a swing that just works, and the boat travels between the strokes rather better than Great Britain. If Great Britain can relax now under this pressure, if they can relax, develop their length, and then just push on, and they can match them all the way down the, down the course. But they've got to watch for this, uh, this push at 750 meters, where New Zealand have something really magical. So a little look to the left and to the right by Eric Murray. He knows now the push is going to come because it's now moving New Zealand from Great Britain and Greece just starting to fall back here. But still Andy Hodge pushes, he punches out every single finish and he's backed up by Peter Reid in the bow seat. So much riding on this race here. It is now moving out to two crews, New Zealand and Great Britain. They've got to be smooth. Great Britain have got to be smooth. Don't tighten up, stay long, and really push the boat at the finish of the stroke. Let the boat run between the strokes. At the halfway mark in this final of the men's heavyweight coxless pair, and the British crew just ahead of New Zealand. Now we're going to start to see fireworks. Eric Murray and Hamish Bond from New Zealand, the defending world champions on home water. They've been led into the halfway mark by Peter Reid and Andy Hodge in lane number five. We are now in a very critical stage of this race. The next 500 meters will set up the last five. It's how they play out here. And still now, the British are alongside New Zealand. New Zealand are up to 37 strokes a minute to Great Britain's 35 strokes a minute. So Great Britain are keeping it low. They're keeping it steady, using their power. As long as they keep that big push and stay relaxed, they can, they can uh, stay there alongside. But New Zealand are trying to do their traditional push at 1,200 metres to try and push away. But Great Britain are holding on. That's great stuff. A wonderful performance. Now we haven't seen Great Britain perform like this in the two years that they have been together and that they have been racing New Zealand. Inside 750 metres now and suddenly the other four boats have become an irrelevance in this final of the men's pair. So much riding on the British shoulders of Peter Reid and Andy Hart and one person who really believes in this crew, Jürgen Grobler, who will watch on from the sidelines. This is a position they've not been in before. Lo lovely focus there from Peter Reid. His eyes, he's not looking anywhere, he's just doing, he's in the zone. He had a quick look there, but he's in the zone. Stay there, don't think about the other crew, just focus on what you're doing. 
Well, Great Britain are really in the lion's den here now with 500 metres to go in New Zealand on Kiwi water, on the home water of Eric Bond and Hamish Murray, the defending world champions. We are inside 500 metres and the British crew are now starting to move away. Up goes the raid and the British holding on four feet up. Don't tense up. They mustn't tense up. They've got to stay relaxed, stay long and do what they're doing so well there. But New Zealand now under real pressure to try and get by. And now they move up again. But look at this, Great Britain still just holding that lead. What a fantastic last 400 metres here. Well, this is edge of your seat stuff here now, less than three feet to depending now on the gold medal. Great Britain lead by three feet over New Zealand. Here and listen to the crowd. They'll start to come into view. And now the New Zealanders are moving. And New Zealanders have got up on the right. And Great Britain now have got to hang in, dig in, hold on. New Zealand went up to 42 strokes a minute there. They've got up to 42. Great Britain at 37. Great Britain have got to push it up as well. Will this power really show now? They're coming back again. And New Zealand look right, New Zealand look left, and New Zealand are ahead by now about six feet. But one last push from Andy Hodge and Peter Reid, and maybe they can just get back on. And the hard men of British rowing are digging in. They have not rolled over. They will not roll over. Great look, they said now about canvas to go. Just a canvas to, cut, to try and catch up, but New Zealand are up to 44 strokes a minute. In front of their crowd, they're being lifted by their crowd. It's been a great, great race, but they're going to get there. Up to the line now, holding on. New Zealand, New Zealand from Great Britain, and it's so close. Oh, what a performance from Peter Reid and Andy Hodge. It's silver today, but that's about as close as they've ever got to New Zealand. The world champions last year on home water. New Zealand get it again today. So there it is, confirmation of New Zealand get the gold today over Great Britain in silver, Greece in bronze. But it was very, very close. And in there shows that Great Britain can drive on again as we head towards the Olympic Games in two years.